Hey, first things first, I want to say shout out to all the service members. I'm rocking this Coast Guard shirt I got. Um, hopefully everyone who is currently serving um, is doing well. And if you have any questions or any way I can help you guys who are serving this country, just let me know. Um, leave a comment below. I get back to my subscribers when they leave comments. Um, this video is actually left by a comment who wanted to know more about my Glint journey. Okay, so you guys are going to see my biggest problem I have with the Glint card. Every time I try and use this drink for gas. So that was my biggest issue with the Glint. Um, it's like certain payments, and I, this is what I think. Um, it was like gas and restaurants, it wouldn't work. So gas is a place where your initial purchase is a certain amount, but like the final amount you can spend could be whatever. So it's like a variable amount that gets charged to the car. They actually get charged one amount, I think it gets charged like a dollar at first, and then like if you get $40 in gas, then it gets $40 charged to the account like the next day or two restaurant initially they charge you to $17 but they don't factor in the tip for the next couple of days so like I think on like restaurant restaurants places that do tips and um gas because it's like a variable payment they didn't want you to get into a situation where you paid $17 tip $25 but you only had $17 on the card and they let that transaction go and they had to figure all that other stuff out on the back end about how they get their money out of you that's what I think is going on but I'm not sure, but that is an issue. So it's a card that I can't use for everyday purchases. Um, I'm actually a little bit sad because it was something I was recommending to everybody because I said, hey, this is a great way you can get into gold right now. I started buying a lot of the gold at 1600. Now gold is 1900 an ounce. Um, so to see your money go up in a couple weeks, like your savings go up, like this, the amount of money that you put into the bank you, it never goes up any amount. To see your, your savings go up by like 10% is, you know, it's nice. Like your savings, like your savings, like the money you were saving in your bank account go up by like 10%. It's kind of nice. Um, it's real nice, actually. But I was recommending to everybody because inflation right now is going to go up, but exclude that. Right now, interest rates, I think I opened an ally bank account. I, I think it was like less than 1%, and that was one of the high ones. So less than 1% interest rate on your money, um, that's nothing, you're losing money if there's 3% inflation a year. So this account was charging 0.5% for um, gold purchases. So inflation is 3%, gold goes up with inflation, 3%, deduct the 0.5%. Um, you have 2.5%, um, and let's say they charge a little bit extra on the gold. So let's say you got 2.4, 2.3%. That's beating all the other savings accounts right now. So what can you can't beat that? Um I you really can't beat that. You're basically getting two plus percent, your money's going up with inflation. If we get hyperinflation, you might actually get more than the three percent. It might it, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it right now. But this is why I hold it up on making the video. They changed the rules. Um before it was like if you use your debit card, it was like no fee to you, you just had 0.5%. Now they charge a 3% fee if you use your debit debit card. So it's a wash now. It's it's actually worse than most bank accounts um, for the average person. Because I was recommending to everybody because if you could take $90, let's say you can only save $100 a month. You can put 50 in your bank account and then you can put 50 in here. That 50 in there will keep up with inflation. You don't have to worry about anything. But can't do that anymore with the 3%. So let's go back to the 3%. 3% inflation, 3% fee, zero. You're better off putting it in a bank account. Um, so this is not a way I would recommend anybody really getting involved in it unless you're going to move like a good chunk of money over at a time because you can wire the money to them, but most places charge like $40 for a wire. So if you're saving $100 and it's going to cost you $40 to wire the money over, that's $60. For you to make your money back, gold has to go up, what, like...
60 percent six uh, it's over 50 percent so goals are about to do that if it does do that it's gonna do it like one time it's not the money is just not there it doesn't make any sense so i cannot recommend this for the average person unless you're gonna do like one unless you're gonna do big chunks of money move it over at one at a time like well big transactions at a time like if you're gonna move over like a thousand dollars at a time or something like that a thousand plus then it starts to be worth it because no, not even at a thousand because forty dollars is four percent of a thousand so you're still losing money you're gonna have to move over like five thousand ten thousand those kind of if you're gonna do big numbers and it makes sense if not it does it just doesn't make sense anymore with that fee because you're eating up all the appreciation when it got from gold and it's actually worse than most bank accounts now but yeah unless you're doing that big money i can't really save it i was loving it for a while but that three percent takes away all the returns now unless you think this specific year you're going to get in because gold is going to go up 50 percent this year and that's cool but if you're just going to assume uh three percent inflation doesn't work anymore i was actually recommending this because i thought this program beat municipal bonds um, I did a video on tax-free municipal bonds down below, so you can check that out. Um, so basically, with tax-free municipal bonds, you were get 5% on your money, and it's tax-free. So the gold, you were only getting 2.4, 2.3, like I said. But because you had the debit card, you can use this to transact. Um, so with the other one, you had to take your money and um, sell it, basically, and then get it back. It cost $2,500 to open the tax-free municipal bond account. This account, I think you could do it with like 10 bucks. So I was recommending this account a lot more than the other account. But now that's over. So I was going to say, it sucks for the regular person who doesn't have that much money. But if you have like 2,500 bucks, I would probably say check out my video below. And that might be one of the ways you could put your money. Because um, uh, the glint was, I was like, man, you, you got, it's like the best savings account you can have right now. Especially if gold is about to catch up with all the other inflation in the market. <sighs> But not like that anymore, so I can't re recommend Glint anymore unless you're going to put a lot of money into Glint. Um, side note, Glint is looking for investors, so if you think this is a good idea and you want to get into it, they were offering shares of the company at like $10,000 a pop. I think that was the minimum investment was $10,000, so there's an opportunity to get equity. Um, I'm not going to invest because 3% inflation, 3% fee, you can make no money. Why would somebody put their money in gold unless they just... Unless their market is like big time gold people, and then uh, are you gonna put it in your money? Like, if you have a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars in gold, you got that much money to put into gold, are you really gonna trust it with like a new company like Glint? I don't know, I wouldn't. There's probably places that do it better, um, but it gave you a little diversification. You got to store your money in Switzerland. Um, it was, I think it was a good tool to get people interested in investing and then in a safe way because people kind of understand gold is valuable. You don't have to sell it on them. So I was telling a lot of my friends, you know, yo, check this out, check this out, check this out. But now I don't tell anybody about it. Do not recommend it. If you do, you want to make a play, you think like gold is going to go up to like $5,000 in the next year or two. Hey, that, then that 3% fee is nothing. But regular inflation is it's not worth the 3% fee anymore. So I'm not putting any more money into it, but if you want to, or I would say maybe because, or if you just want to pick up some gold, I wouldn't say it works as a savings account anymore. If you wanted to pick up some gold, there's a 3% fee to pick up the gold and a little bit of fee because it's like an overcharge. I guess if you don't, if you just try to get into the gold, but as a savings account, as a way to, you know, transact in gold, do not recommend it anymore used to but a three percent fee doesn't so just monitor the fees if they go back down to a 0.5 percent fee structure maybe or if they accept bitcoin or something else where it's not as much fees then maybe but assuming regular inflation no so hopefully this video was helpful um if you're interested in picking up some equity in the glint um i think you have to go on their website and you'll find more information about that i'm not going to promote that because i'm not going to do it so i'm not going to tell you guys anything i'm not going to do but it might be worth it for you um, so this is Nick signing out.